All right, so I've been having some streaming difficulties. Um, OBS is saying I'm getting a bunch of dropped frames, uh, but I went back and I'm investigating my videos, and it doesn't seem like it's super study or anything. I, I'm stuttery or anything. I must just be losing some frames here and there. So I'm going to just go for an hour and ignore all of the warnings. Uh, but again, I'd like to apologize in advance if there is any stuttering or cutouts or anything like that. Um, if that does happen, I can't really uh, redo an hour of playing, so um, just bear with me. Uh, so luckily, the only thing I had really done uh, during this time where I was stuttering was I uh, investigated the wherever I'm at uh, here the rainforest planet. There was a biome that I wasn't sure what it meant, rust. Uh, seems like it's just a volcanic area for the most part. Uh, so I wanted to check that out. It's a small planet. I knew it wouldn't take me very long. Not particularly interesting. Um, I do want to check out the desert moon because I would really like to get some Lunari shards. Uh, it's also small and there's a spaceship. It might be interesting to see what we've got there. So. Uh, shouldn't really need to do anything here. This looks like it's going to be a very easy planet. Um, and I want, I want, I want to get Greg. Greg, oh Greg. Now let's go. So, um, I think the only thing a desert planet or a desert moon has over a regular moon is there uh, there are not going to be ghosts. Um, so even though I do have a lot of Urchius, it is going to be um, very e glass sand. Interesting. That is new. So let's get all the glass sand I can and kill this thing. So I'm assuming glass sand we will be able to sift just as if it were any sand. And then the other thing I'm looking to get here is the Lunari shards. So, really unsure where those will even appear. Um, but uh, if nothing else, glass sand will be a, a new resource and uh, be interested to see what we can sift out of that. Great. Love, love when that happens. Quite a lot of glass sand already. Interestingly, the mining laser does not do electric damage to it. I wonder if that is just an error with this tier of mining laser, or if that is a thing with that monster, or something else entirely. Who knows? I don't know. Don't really know why it sounds like a choo-choo train, but there you go. Are we going to have daytime on the moon, or no? Oh, this is the uh, spaceship. Okay, I, I know what this is. Yeah, pirate signal detected. 
So this is not actually super difficult. Um, uh, except I do, uh, do not like that this dude has a shotgun. Okay, and then the other thing that's really irritating is um, to get through these doors. They're like timed. A cadaver. Extreme cold detected. Is it? It's level one. Level one. Cold. Uh, whatever that gun is, doesn't look promising. Oh boy, that, that boy really can jump. Come on, I would really like some help. Just kidding, it's cool. I don't need help. I, I'm, I'm so good at this game. Uh, that's radioactivity. Um, what do we have here? Okay, so we can take the the gene design lab. Um, the lab centrifuge, I think I already have. Uh, we can also take the electron microscope. All right, this is this is nice. Head in a jar. What is this thing? Oh, is this uh is this one of the Bari two? I, I I don't appreciate that gun very much though. Screams. What did I get? This mutagen, mutagen will durable mutagene. Okay, so that was like a boss, bossy guy. Uh, let's open this real quick. Hey, I think I needed that. <laughs> I think I needed that miracle grass rut. Um, what did we get out of that guy? We got a force gauntlet. Force gauntlet is tier five. don't think I need um, some of these things. One elder block. I don't I don't think I can do anything with this elder stuff because I don't have big enough stacks, but we will see. Um, yeah, whatever. I've still got some space here. Anything else cool? Um, yeah, there's the durable mutagene. Okay. Yeah. So we'll head up here. Dead. Let's kill you. What is that? Oof. Wow, they took a lot of damage. Uh, okay. So, what we really need to get here is we need to get at the. Uh, Nothing in those. And oh, those don't open. And um, 
There might be something in these containers. I feel like traditionally there are. Okay, pretty good there. Not great. Also not great, and also not great. Um, but this is a nice big container. I might take this simply because it's got 300 slots, and that saves me, you know, 10, 15 storage matter. What the? Whatever. I'll just go the other way around, uh, and we'll the easy thing and just cut straight up this way. So we'll snag the electron microscope. Um, we'll snag the gene design lab. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have, uh, just to be safe, I'm pretty sure I have all of those. Uh, and I'm also pretty sure I have a lab centrifuge. Um, but couldn't hurt. Just another uh, another crafting table that I will have access to. Yeah, I was actually really on the fence about streaming tonight, anyways. But I really feel like I I want to try to be in the habit of, of streaming, even if it's just for an hour every day. Keep me in the habit, cause I I'm definitely the kind of person like. When I stop streaming, I'm not gonna stream for like weeks. I mean, I I, I w tend to do that. I tend to like stream for a little bit, and then you know I'm away from it. I don't think about it, and it's out of sight, out of mind, and then I don't stream for a very very long time. So we're looking for Lunari, and I don't know uh, exactly how we're going to find that. I, I'm i a little worried I might only find it by digging deeper, uh, in which case, I don't know. <laughs> but this is a moon. It's also very small. Um... And it only has one biome, so I guess wherever we find Lunari, um, we'll find it everywhere on the planet, presumably. So maybe that means we do just start digging down. Let's at least make it around the planet. know exactly what my bar will be for knowing that I made it a full lap around. Um, I don't believe uh, that this bug is a bee. Nope, it is a sand. So let's start digging down and find this Lunari. Ooh. So these always grant a bunch of high level items. Uh, silicon board sticker ram, not so much. 20 essence, precursor data storage, a cosmic obelisk, and five more. So what did we actually get? Uh, smooth metal is not part of it. Um, none of that is part of it. Um, so we got the cosmic obelisk. Uh, so silicon board, precursor data storage, plastic polymer, state phase gel, dimensional cell, exotic matter, Okay, so we got that. Anything else? No. So that's all of it. 
and then whatever stacked with some earlier things, but that's pretty good for new stuff. Um, getting the dimensional cell and the data storage, I think those are both pretty dang high end. Um, very nice to see that. Oh, and now we're in crystals, so we should be able to get some Lunari. Uh, yep. Just got Lunari. Okay. So now the only struggle is going to be actually, like, locating it in the crystals. Because Lunari just looks like these little yellow crescents. And I did not see it uh, when I picked it up, so it might be a little difficult to pinpoint. Uh, I wonder, do I have anything that's going to help me uh, in terms of light? Gosh, I hate that, like, food is <laughs> not easy to... Yeah, I can use the blister sack. Probably worth it in this situation. It's not much of a glow, but maybe enough. Okay, and then we're back to Moonstone. And then Living Stone? Hmm. Oh, uh, are those, are these madness things? They don't seem like it. It's so quiet. Some crystal urchius. Hmm. I don't... I don't know if I'm really familiar with this style of biome. Two chests right next to each other, that's pretty convenient. A penum oh, penumbra? And then we've got dire stone. Man, I really just don't. I'm not familiar with this biome, I guess. Okay. I hate it when a uh, biome is silent. Like, I don't know what causes that really. Typically, I think it's a bug where it, like, it doesn't pick uh, a song for whatever reason. This is Dire Stone. Man. I don't really know what Dire Stone is for. I also don't know what you can do with Living Stone. I'll have to check the lab directory when I get back to my base. I do not typically use the lab directory very much. So, how exactly am I supposed to find Lunari? It's going to be in the presumably crystal biome, uh, which is above this level. So then maybe let's try to stay there. Okay, looks like we're breaking back into it. Yeah. There's some Lunari, right? Yep. Another chest. It's just not a lot. Oh, okay, so you can still find Moonstone when you're in the crystal uh, biome. And that's fine. 
pick up the Lunari that sell. Snake this Urtius fuel. No reason to let it go to waste. And then we'll just dig this out. Grab that little bit of Lunari there. How much you need of Lunari? I mean, I know there are Lunari weapons and Lunari armor, but for typical intents and purposes, I never found myself using a lot. Okay, and it looks like that, then we're above the crystal, so. Stay down here if uh oh, so dark. That's not what I need to do. I hate that you can't easily discern blocks without basically being right on top of them. Okay, maybe down a little bit further. Oh, I think this is a geode. I wonder if there's going to be uh, liquefied crystals in it. That happens occasionally. Uh, but not here. Here we just have actual crystals. Sometimes you crack open one of these geodes, right? It's like a giant geode. And you find a liquefied crystal. Uh, and liquefied crystal is pretty good. I think it's a fertilizer or something like that. There you go. A crystal as well. Off this name. Yeah, that's what's creating the blue light. Let's see, blue light is gone, and then once we take these and this, the lights um, kind of go out. Lights that are illuminating these blocks. doing so well right now. Okay, now we're hitting the, the penumbra. Um, I do need to eat. This powers your power cells. I do like that the mining laser does generate a little bit of light at least. That's nice. One thing that's been pretty cool uh, on a couple of my videos, uh, one of the creators of Fracking Universe has been giving me some feedback, and that's been pretty helpful. Um, mostly, he's been reminding me of like, you really need to do these things. Like he told me, I needed an armor works, which was definitely true. I, I was cobbling together. Just crappy armor, mostly because I was too lazy. Too lazy to get anything. Um, like a, a real armor set. Oh, there's some more Lunari. Yeah, 
there are very few times where I wish I would have invested in, um, oh, really, Shadow Gas. All right, we will leave. I, uh, I think I've kind of realized that this is not a particularly productive use of my time here. But what is this? Is this a creature? Is this a, it is an angry creature. So this is, I, I got this metal crate modified, uh, and I suppose I can edit it even further. I'm going to just call this Cloud Storage. There. So now I've got Cloud Storage. Get it? Because I'm in a spaceship, so I'm above the clouds, so it's Cloud Storage. It's hilarious. Oh man, regular gravity feels weird now after being on the moon. That's funny. Um, so we were just on the one of the moons. I don't care. So let's head to the next set of planets. Might be uh, might be time to hit up a tide water. Uh, it does tell me I want poison protection. Rich in mutated nodules. What do we have here? We've got a rainforest, a uh, field of bamboo, field of tomato, not super interesting. We've got alien, uh, it's radioactive. There's durasteel. Um, I may want to look into getting uh, an appropriate environmental protection pack, because right now I'm just using the breathing. So, let's hit up my base really quick, and just see what I can do as far as an EPP goes. And it'd be great if I could do a radioactive one, and I probably can't. But, whatever. And, yep, bees are all dead, bees are all dead, these bees are still going. Those golden saints, man. So, if we take our Durasteel, wow, I have a lot of Durasteel. Surprisingly does not get you a bunch of crafting. I'm going to hold off on the D-Platinum uh, until I know that I'm good on Durasteel, because I'm, I'm not using that RPG growth stuff um, very much. Uh, a lot more Lunari than uh, Durasteel, which really surprises me. I suppose I'll do one of these tungstens just so that I don't have the new next to it. And a whole bunch of Sarchesium. So then I think the next thing we need is a bunch of batteries, and then I believe we'll be able to upgrade a lot of these uh, crafting benches. Right now, just kind of cycling through everything that I have. 
I need so many bars for so many different applications that it's just so much easier to just make it all. My last save, I found myself typically saving a lot of ore, um, simply because I didn't really know if there was ever going to be an application for it, and I found that it's you don't use ore very much. You're typically using the bars, just like in the regular game. I thought Fracking Universe might modify that, but it didn't seem like it did in any significant amount. Okay, so we've got 2,000 dirt, we've got, uh, I think a lot of moon dust, 500 moon rock, and 5,000 moon stone. So, can we plop some matter block? A matter block, a block that matters. What do we get out of matter block? Okay, you get matter block. Interestingly, although that's yeah. Uh, so now we can start trashing. Um, yeah, there's not enough of any of this elder stuff. So we'll just dump it. No sense having it clog up my inventory. Um, I am also going to look up. Some of these other, like, living stone. Like, is this going to be worth having around? Because, yeah, if, if all it gives you is research, I don't really care about it. So we can dump the living stone and, like, purple crystal. Um, well, let's look at crystal. So crystal block gives you crystal. Wow. Brilliant. And purple crystal blocks can be sifted. Okay, so we actually don't care about crystal blocks, but we want the purple crystal blocks. And uh, so sifted stuff always goes down here. Um, then we can look up meteorites. Gleaming meteorite. What is that even? You get carbon and iron ore. And in meteorite, you get silicon and iron ore. Um, that is actually worth it for me, so let's dump our meteorite. Um, and tar will get us oil. And uh, sulfuric stone, I think, just nets us sulfur. So shadow bricks can go, shadow rock can go. Um, I'm going to hold on to this. Stone. I think rose stone might just be, uh, yeah, research. Which means I don't care about it. Um, crystal Arceus gets you Arceus fuel. Stone rubble I don't care about. Um, more moon dust. Sand. Aether. Flesh trunks we can dump. Proto stone we can dump. Proto soil we can dump. Proto shale we can dump. Kalish we're good for, yeah, so this will be good to clear this out. Uh, I've been holding on to a lot of stuff thinking that, um, you know, I'll be getting a lot more of it in the future, and the reality is so many of these don't give you anything worthwhile that I should just get rid of most of it, frankly. Okay, so we're down to 300 moon rock. Um, and I really came down here uh, to look at environmental protection tags, so wow. Um, and we want poison? Right? Or no, ra radiation. So I need five hydrogen. Interesting, I don't have hydrogen. So, uh, this is why I love the crafting directory as output. What can we get hydrogen from? So if we extract from water, we have a chance of getting hydrogen. Otherwise, we can get hydrogen from, well, moon rock, moon dust, moonstone. So I should be getting, uh, yeah, some hydrogen. Interesting that I, I must just not have it in my inventory. So if we go like that, we've got it. 
So, boom, radiation pack. And heck, let's upgrade it right away because we can. And boom, poison pack. And boom, poison pack too because we can. And what do I need for the acid? Um, okay, so we need batteries. And we're going to need advanced alloy. So, what? What bars do you need for advanced alloy? Okay, I'm going to need to upgrade this, so I need glass and bottle armor. Which I should have somewhere here. Powder, volatile powder, and glass. Easy game. And we'll upgrade this puppy. Boom! We have the atomic, atom, atomic furnace. Uh, Protocyte Penumbrite. Ah, oh, I need Penumbrite. Oh, it's a kind of a problem. I can make exactly two. I don't even think that's enough. The Urchius Buddy really isn't too bad. Ghost Immunity is a, a real deal. It's like, it, it just makes farming on um, moons so much nicer. Oh, okay, and then I need Venom Samples. Okay, so I will be able to make the Acid. Uh, acid EPP. Um, if, I actually, if I actually get the Venom Samples. Round one, it's down here. And how are we coming? We got a hundred left. And how are we coming on fuel? Pretty good. Okay. All right, so we've got radiation, um, poison, acid. Then we need cooling and heating, which means two batteries. So I think you make batteries at the LA, but I don't really remember. I am wrong. You do not make batteries here. Um, let's go look here. Battery. Battery, battery, battery. That is, no, that is not it. Um, gosh, where, where do you make a battery? I feel like I should know this. Like, I feel like I've been playing long enough that I should know. Okay, well that doesn't tell me. Great. Um, God, I'm going to have to just Google it. I'm going to have to Google it. Um, oh, well, it's good to know that I'm very smart. Um, you apparently make it at the furnace. And I need copper wires, which I have plenty of. Okay, good. I'll be able to make a lot of batteries. No, that's not what I meant. Where did it get dumped? Um, did it get put in? Yeah, it got put in my inventory. Okay. All right. So, if this is done, then we can put in another siftable, and let's start going with the purple crystal. So how many can I make? I can make ten. Okay, and that's how many I want. And how many AA batteries can I make? Let's just do it. Um, 
then that means we can go back and presumably make some of those other EPPs that we need. Except we actually can't, um, because I need carbon and more carbon. And I should be able to make that at the furnace using coal. Yep, so how much can I make here? 31? I don't think I need 31. Let's go with 10. Nice. And what do I need for cooling, too? I need a dense alloy. Might not be able to make dense alloy, but we'll double check. Yeah, cannot make dense alloy yet. Presumably, dense alloy is going to be some of these. Um, however, what is really awesome about this... Um, I'm going to dump the names. What is really awesome about this is I now have um, the pretty typical suite of um, of all of the EPPs that you pretty much need to progress through most of the um, environment types. So. The only thing I don't like is that the level 2s don't give you infinite oxygen. Um, level 3s do. So what's what's going to have to happen is I think I'm going to have to be using this rebreather uh, in addition to a lot of these. Not the end of the world, um, but like if I'm going to go on the Tidewater planet, I do not want to be underwater if I only have 25 seconds of oxygen and halves, uh, halves my breath rate. Oh, although, wait, yeah, I was going to say, as a glitch, I'm immune to breath, but no, it's the EPP that I already have. So, cool. Um, do we have... All right. So, then what we do is, I think we just dump all of our regular... Crafting mats here. Uh, so we'll do that. Yeah, that's the button. Uh, and so a lot of these can still go in here. I only have one silver. Mm -hmm. I want to. that, and then here, we've got that, and then here, it should take everything else, good. Hypergrav, device that amplifies gravity, explorer's lantern. Uh, let's see how the explorer's lantern compares it's hard to tell when we're when we're close. Hmm. Doesn't seem. Oh, maybe it's not too bad. Sure, we'll we'll say that it we'll say that it's better than the the flashlight that I had. Okay, we're going to also quick check these, make sure they're... Oh, I am out of liquid here. And we are running out of liquid here. And we're actually getting kind of close there. And why the heck not? Let's add some there. Take all this stuff just to clear it out. We will go sell it actually. I will have to do something with this. <laughs>
but let's not worry about it yet. I do want to double check quickly though that, okay, so the Golden Saint I do have drones of, but I don't have a queen. Everything else I have a queen, which is fine. We'll beam up. Uh, we're going to sell some stuff, which means, actually, let's check this. Um, okay, so the goal here is already to um, get the artifact. So we can go to the teleshop, scoot over to the right just a little bit, and sell. And not that we have a ton to sell, but it will be nice to free up the space, if nothing else. I don't really think I need the head in a jar. I like keeping all of my EPP augs. You never know when that kind of stuff will come in handy. Well, um, the Love Thumper I can get rid of. I don't think I'm going to be using that. And I'm going to want to get uh, an Augment Remover um, very quickly as well. Because that is definitely going to be a liability here very soon. So let's sell all of those. Because they're worth a lot. And death. Um, we can trim down on saplings. Let's just have one of each of these kind of types. I like having the peach trees. I actually think everything else is one of each type. Um, these are the big ones, though. So, there. Any other pages that are starting to look pretty cluttered? We do have a lot of blocks, um, but a lot of these can just go. Like, a lot of these I just don't really even need. Uh, and I suppose for a lot of these we can, we can, uh, we can deal with that when I get there. Let me quick double check on my base, which I should have gone directly to from the teleporter, but I'm not a smart man. Um, I want to see how much the augment extractor uh, costs to build. I am unsure, uh, and honestly I don't even really know where I make it. <laughs> Flight fire. Well, this is super fun. Um, it might be at the matter assembly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's down here somewhere, presumably. Tungsten Lunari Electromagnet Upgrade Module. Okay, we can make that right now. Um, I will do that. Tungsten Lunari... <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, why can I... Okay, Augment Extractor. Uh, two Electromagnets. Okay. Not what I meant to do, but all right. And then this will just stay on my ship, along with all of the EPPs that I use. Although EPPs don't drop in your inventory anyways. The thing I'm always concerned about is the things that you drop when you die. So you lose all of your crafting mats, right? Crafting mats, uh, except I'm not going to put them there. 
Uh, they're going to go in cloud storage. So you drop crafting mats. Um, you drop non-essentials from your inventory, which luckily does not count any tools, healing items. I think it might drop, like, I don't know, collars and some of these explosives. Um, interestingly, it drops mech parts. Um, and then it drops some foods, but not all. Like, it... it there's like a rule, but because of fracking universe, it doesn't really help. Um, so it's really hard to tell. The only thing that really bothered me last game is one time I died um, when I hit the bottom of an ocean. Uh, and like, you can't get your body back. Uh, you can't get the items you drop back when that happens. Uh, and I had a number of mech parts on me. And it's just the kind of thing like I just won't have that happen ever again. Um, so we're going to check out this tide water, and it says I need poison protection. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it also says there's a bunch of lightning storms. So we're going to get the poison protection because that's probably more likely uh, to be accurate. There's, it's much more likely to have poison underwater um, than it is uh, to have uh, lightning underwater. Oh, hello there. Good to see you again. Um... Yeah, so, Tidewater. Um, I thought I had actually clicked it. This will be the first time I'm going to an ocean planet on this character. So, except this isn't what we want anymore. Uh, we want the poison, and we're going to want the oxygen recycler. So... I shouldn't call it the oxygen recycler, it's the rebreather. Um, so, what is this? Coral. Okay, it's straight up coral. Mare stone. Um, and then we've got dark water. Huh. It is dark. They're not lying. Dark water coral. Okay. I don't know how that's different from regular coral, but... Ooh, what is this? What is this orange thing? Lumivine. Oyster shell. A little dur steel. All right, all right. Okay, some more lumavine. I don't know if uh, lumavine is particularly important, but I suppose let's uh, let's just get what we can while we can. If you will, try to use my filtering mod, it will probably crash. Interested in an update? Um, if if it's working, I, like, I'll be fine using it, and what I would probably do is just back up all my stuff. Um, I know you did send it to me, um, like you linked it on... Uh, you, li you linked it on stream, but as soon as I closed out of my stream, I lost the link. Oh, the star map filtering one. Um, yeah, I I will I will give it a shot for sure. Um, it may not be, it, will, it won't be tonight, um, but yeah, I'm I'm willing to do that. Sponge weed clump. Golden Sea Sponge.
let's just yeah, just dig. Okay, I guess guess those bones are coming down too. Oh, bone boo. There's a little dirt steel. There's a, a really nice local bakery, not super near my house, but it's like a half hour drive. And I drove out there today and got $20 worth of cake. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, they do this, they do this stuff called, um, they call them like cake scraps. And so like they make a lot of wedding cakes, but they sell all of the leftovers. Uh, which is fantastic. So if you pay them four dollars, um, they give you a, a pretty ridiculous amount of this cake. And so I bought four of them because I am a glutton. First that can happen, it crashes, you won't be able to use your star map. Presumably uninstalling will then fix that issue. I, I'm just worried because I've read some things about like, you know, mostly with like fracking universe and stuff, but if you do things incorrectly, you can permanently muck up your universe. And that sounds like a bad time. You know, it sounds like not super ideal. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Get my energy back. And let's just go right back up. Block of darkness. What is So we got dark water, we got lava. Um, okay, I'm not really sure what's going on. With fracking universe, it's possible. Yeah, that would on, that would be my only concern with uh, with using really any mod. I mean, the stuff I'm the mods I'm using right now um, are all like confirmed to play well with fracking universe and if I ever encounter any significant issues they are they are gonna be gone very quickly. I don't think block of darkness is actually worth getting now that I think about it. I don't know I don't know if any of this magma rock, volcanic rock crap is worth getting. Oh, and it converts to living stone when dark water touches it. Great. So, I think magma rock is used for something at least. can't actually dig through it fast enough. That's rather unfortunate. Yeah, let's just head our way. Head up. The other thing I would be willing to do is if you just need someone to test it a little bit, I would just like I don't know, make a make a vanilla character. What is what is falling? Oh, is it ice? Yeah, I think it's I think it's ice. Interesting that the ice still falls through. And interesting that a ton of it hits me. That's very cool.
So this doesn't seem particularly interesting, other than the fact that it's uh, an ocean. Like, I guess, kind of cool that I now have access to um, infinite dark water. I don't know if that's even relevant. Well, you should worry about our mods that had blocks, liquids, missions, trees, modify inventory effects. Okay. So, I mean, I'm using StarTech and X or XB3K's uh, inventory mod, the one that makes my inventory, like, really big. Um, unsure if that is going to cause significant problems, but, yeah, I imagine it would. Dude, this thing is annoying. Yeah, that's really effing annoying. Cool, level twenty three. StarTech is rather safe. Yeah, it seems like StarTech is really, really compatible with a lot of stuff. You want to get smacked? He wants to get smacked. Yeah. Manually editing my character sounds pretty bad. That is something that is pretty... I mean, I could do it, but I wouldn't want to. <laughs> Again, what I would do is I would back everything up, and then I would, I would load... So like again, yeah, if you wanted if you wanted some help testing, I'd, I'd be willing to do something like that. Yeah, I don't know. This uh this does not seem like it's proving to be particularly interesting. Um I just mean like this, this ocean, that's all. So, I am going to beam back up. Um, yeah, kind of unfortunate. Not that I was expecting anything like super ridiculously awesome. White spine. This is like a, um, like a sulfuric biome, it looks like, with all the white spine. Yeah, it's sulfuric stone. Hmm, interesting. Um, could you send that? Could you send that link to me in a message? Um, on uh, at least on my end, it's gonna be harder to save that unless I. I, mean, I guess I can remember to do that when the stream is over, which it should really be over. Um, I've been playing for just a little bit over an hour. Constantly getting hit by hail thing is pretty effing annoying, I'll say that much. What is
is this? Oh, just a rock. Okay, well, nothing particularly interesting there. And what was I hoping to find? Ocean currents show fauna rich in mutated nodules with interesting application. Okay, so that's probably the luma vine and the fungus, the golden seed fungus or whatever. So then we could also uh, head here. Um, we would need uh, some radioactive protection. Yeah. Although I suppose I should probably end the stream. Um, and I will probably stream again tomorrow. <sighs> this coming week is my last week of teaching. Summer officially starts at noon next Friday. My grades are due next Friday at noon. And then it is summer. And while I don't plan on wrapping, ramping up streaming super significantly, um, I have streamed every single day for the past week, so I think this is part 18. So that means I've streamed 18 hours in the past week, which that's like two and a half hours every day. And uh, I think what I will probably do in summer is I will do similar amounts, maybe three or four hours a day, but I'll do the same kind of thing one hour at a time. Um, and I think once I'm done with my kind of playthrough of Starbound, uh, and I, I'm kind of over that. Um, I won't be uploading everything to YouTube. I think the Fracking Universe does not have too many long Let's Plays. There are a lot of people who play it for a little bit and kind of peter out. Uh, I'm going to go through the entire game and pretty much do whatever I can. Um, however, on June 19th, the other game that I play a lot of is dropping a big expansion. Um, so I'm kind of thinking um, Starbound will be on the back burner uh, once that happens. Not sure if I'll be able to watch you though. You're from here. Yeah, if there's a time zone difference, that, that probably sucks. I mean, I'm still probably going to do, like, uh, at least for my time zone. So right now it's 11.30 at night uh, for me. So normally I try to stream like an hour earlier in the day. Uh, today I'm only streaming late because I um, I had kind of a busy day and I really did not have a lot of other time uh, to stream. So once summer starts in earnest, I'll be able to follow more of a schedule. And who knows, maybe I'll do something like I'm going to stream noon to 2 and then I'm going to stream 9 to 11 or something like that. So that might... 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, so um, uh, if it's 6.30 in the morning, that means you're, what, seven hours ahead of me? Um, so if I stream noon to 2, it would be, you know, right around dinner time for you, um, which maybe that would be good. Um, but we'll, we'll kind of see. Like, I, I'm, I'm still pretty committed to playing Starbound. I'm really enjoying um, Fracking Universe and just kind of putzing around slowly. I like that it's a really slow, gradual um, sense of progress, but like every hour I play, I feel like, okay, I did something here, right? Like in this hour, yeah, that uh, that tidewater planet was a bust, but I got all of the all of the base EPPs. That's a big deal, right? Like I did not have any of them before. I just had the breathing EPP. So getting all the resist EPPs is like that's that's really useful. Um, just as an example. So, yeah, um, I think a pretty successful stream. Looking forward to streaming a couple hours tomorrow. Uh, I will bookmark that, bookmark that link, uh, and, um, and, you know, we can, you, you should send me a message or something on Reddit or Twitch or Twitter or whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm a dark spirit everywhere. 
Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. I'll be happy to test, uh, test that for you and, and we can see how that's working. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.